Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're gonna to be doing some chicken drumettes, okay? You know that age old question of whether or not you like uh, flats versus drumettes? I am a drumette person. Flats are cool, but I like drumettes. It's got a little bit more meat on them and I think they get a little bit more crispier than the flats do sometimes, okay? Well, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be cooking about 11 drumettes on our char grill. 980 gravity fed smoker today and we're going to be making some uh catch fire hot pepper jelly drumettes okay so that's what we're gonna be doing today so let's go ahead and get started he's a bad beast on that barbecue on the grill of the smoker he knows just what to do he's a bad beast on that barbecue all right, guys, so here are our drumettes, and we got them in a nice little glass container. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this Catch Fire cinnamon-flavored whiskey as the binder. You can use Fireball if you want to. Uh, there are many different cinnamon whiskeys out there, but we're just going to hit these lightly with this cinnamon whiskey. I say lightly, but I am kind of heavy-handed. So, and we're going to mix those up. And we're going to let these hang out in this container here for about 20 to 30 minutes, just enough so it can absorb a little bit of the cinnamon whiskey and act as a binder for our seasoning. OK, so we shall be back in about 20 minutes. All right, guys, so now we've soaked these for 20 minutes and we move them around every five minutes so that we can make sure that each one of the wings got some catch fire cinnamon whiskey on them. And now we're just gonna put them in another container so that we can season them. I don't wanna wipe any of my whiskey off because it's gonna get another uh, dose of whiskey in the sauce also, okay? All right, so here are our wings and we're gonna just hit them with some simple SPG. Now this of course is that Grillmates SPG that I've been raving about. It's got sea salt, garlic, and black pepper in it. Uh, this is some really good seasoning. If you guys haven't checked that out, check it out. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So, all right, we're gonna hit these up real good. All right, now these are ready for the smoker. All right, guys, so now that our wings are all seasoned up, we have the uh, char griller outside already coming up to temp. We're gonna throw in a piece of cherry and apple wood to give it some smoke. And when we come back, after these are nice and cooked and smoked uh, from the char griller, we're gonna make a glaze to toss them in, which is gonna be a combination of hot jalapeno pepper jelly and some more catch fire whoop catch fire cinnamon whiskey okay with a little bit of butter okay so so hang around for that so but we'll let these hang out and then we're gonna head out to the patio and put them on the grill
All right, guys, so our chicken is done. I got them sitting here in this Tupperware here. I'm trying not to let them sweat too much. I got the top cracked so that the steam can come off of them. We're gonna go ahead and make our glaze now. I hope you can hear me uh, over the fan of this induction cooktop here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So come on closer and I will show you how we put together this glaze. All right, so we have our uh, induction cooktop set to low and we're gonna toss in two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You don't want your fire too high. Mine might be a little high because my, my butter seems like it's starting to brown. So I think I'm gonna turn this off right now for the time being. And then we're gonna put in one third cup of the hot jalapeno pepper jelly. And we're gonna get that to melt. And we're also going to throw in two tablespoons of the cinnamon whiskey. Be careful, you don't want a fire to flare up here. And you want this to simmer until the pepper jelly is melted and everything is well incorporated. Looks like everything is well incorporated. All right, so let's get it poured over our drumettes. All right, guys, so now that we got our glaze all nice and incorporated, I'm going to mix this up one more time with our brush. We're going to pour this over our chicken. Like so. Get it all in there. Don't want to waste any of it. Smells really good. Put our top on. And get them nice and coated. All right, time for the big reveal. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and have our taste test now. They're nice and sticky. You can smell the cinnamon from the whiskey, right? Now, boiling the whiskey or simmering the whiskey with the butter and the uh, pepper jelly um, got rid of uh, most of the alcohol that was in here. But remember, we did kind of marinate these in the cinnamon whiskey for about 30 minutes, 20 minutes or so before we put them on the smoker, okay? Hey, so let's go ahead and see what they taste like. Man, these are great, man. You got that cinnamon flavor. You get the heat from the jalapeno pepper jelly. Uh, the only thing that it needs is a little bit more salt and pepper. So I think next time when I make the glaze, I'll put about a tablespoon of the SPG inside of the glaze also to give a little bit more saltiness. Um, but these are fantastic. They're nice and sticky. Mmm, and they taste fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, got to have another bite. That is definitely a unique flavor with the cinnamon and the pepper jelly and the SPG. Man, these are really great, man. I really like these, man. I'm going to have to definitely add this to my list of chicken wing recipes, okay? So, well, 
that's it. Hey, I will put uh, all the ingredients that I use down in the description block with links to them where you can get them from. Once again, the char griller performed fantastic. Uh, it held temperature. We smoked these for the most part, and I'll put the time up here on the screen. For the, the majority of the time, they smoked at 250 degrees on the char griller. And then the last 15, 20 minutes of the cook, we cranked the temperature up to 325 degrees to give some, uh, uh, some crunchy exterior, crispy exterior to the chicken. And um, there are parts of the chicken and the skin that are crunchy. And, um, but of course, once you throw glaze on top of it, it may soften a little bit, but these taste fantastic. So definitely try these if you've never tried just plain pepper jelly wings. You don't have to put the liquor in it. You can also just use the butter and the pepper jelly and uh, it will give you a fantastic product, okay? Well, that's all we have time for today. Hey, like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or some chicken wings with a little catch fire to heat up your tongue. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Man, these are fantastic. Love these.